What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to make a quick video on something that I see a lot of people freaking out about. Allie tweeted this out yesterday, I believe, and it's got a lot of the community in uproar at the moment. So I was just hoping to bring a little bit of logic into this and discuss this image right here. This is from a GameStop ad. In this ad, it says you get to unlock any multiplayer base weapon early with the pre-order of Call of Duty World War II through them. Now, immediately at this point, as soon as people saw a base weapon, they started freaking out. They're thinking, oh my god, this means that stat change variants are confirmed, or we're definitely going to be getting stat change guns in supply drops. And I just wanted to clear some of this up based on all the information we've been getting over the past year. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is you'd have to be pretty naive to think that we aren't getting stat change weapons at some point in supply drops in the future. Keep in mind that Sledgehammer and Activision have been saying supply drops are going to be cosmetic only within the launch window, or at launch. Now, for anybody that chooses to ignore that within the launch window part of the quote, you have nobody to blame but yourself if you're surprised when they drop stat change weapons a few months down the road. It's pretty obvious that's going to be happening. The big question at this point is how is that going to be happening? Are they going to take a step backwards and go the Black Ops 3 route so the only way you can get it is through supply drops? Or are they going to be a lot more fair to the consumers and have a system like Modern Warfare Remastered, where as long as you're saving your in-game currency through playtime and spending it wisely, you'll be able to get these guns without spending a penny. So far, all signs seem to point to a Modern Warfare Remastered-like system where if you save up your parts, maybe you go through collection bounties and everything like that, you'll be able to craft these new supply drop weapons without spending a penny and without having to gamble at all. Now keep in mind this isn't confirmed at this point, but based on all the leaks that we've seen on how the supply drop system appears to look, it seems likely that this is going to be the case. So I think everybody should know this going into the game if you're pre-ordering or you're thinking about pre-ordering or buying it at launch. I think it would be very naive to think that they aren't going to have stat change weapons at some point in supply drops. Now another form of outrage that this particular image brought up was a lot of people were saying, oh no, that means variants are going to be in the game. And of course variants are going to be in the game. They've been confirmed for months now. However, variants in this game are cosmetic only. This has been confirmed by Condry, and we have no reason to doubt that at this point. This was a direct statement. It wasn't something taken out of context. And of course, I'm already seeing a lot of those people saying, oh, I've heard that before and they lied to us in the past about it being cosmetic only. And of course, those people haven't seen the original quotes, haven't seen the original context. They just base their statement on what they've heard from other people, specifically a certain set of YouTubers that twisted that quote and took it out of context to generate controversy. I'm starting to get a little bit sick of all this misinformation that keeps being spread constantly throughout the community. I couldn't believe the number of people that were still saying this and quoting this out of context. So I thought it would be appropriate for me to share it here. This is the original conversation on Twitter that all these people refer to when they say that Activision confirmed that it would be cosmetic only and then went against their word and lied to us. This conversation was taken before the launch of Black Ops 3 and this guy on Twitter asked David Vonderhaar, Will Gunsmith work like Supply Drops did with the Variants? David Vonderhaar's response to this is no. The Variants are a custom created gun made from optics, attachments, paint jobs, and camos. All cosmetic, no stat changers. As you can very clearly see when you look at the context of this and you actually look at this original source, that was a 100% honest and accurate response. The Gunsmith Attachment variants in Black Ops 3 have always been purely cosmetic, just as Vondahar said. Far too many people took this out of context and twisted this quote to make it sound like Activision confirmed that the supply drops would all be cosmetic only. So I just wanted to bring this quote up to first off clear any misconceptions for a lot of you guys that have been misled with this quote, and second, to support the fact that I completely believe Condry when he says and makes a very direct statement that the variants in this game are going to be cosmetic only. I'm sure down the road, once we eventually get the stat change weapons that are very likely to come into COD World War II, you're going to see a lot of those same people going back and misquoting Condry, saying that he lied to us by saying that supply drops would be cosmetic only, when in reality, if you actually read the words that he's saying, the variants themselves are cosmetic only in this game. So getting back to the image that sparked all of this talk, what do they mean by unlock any multiplayer base weapon early? This appears to be a system where it's going to give you a permanent weapon unlock token, or at least an early weapon unlock token, like we've seen before when you prestige. So if there's a gun that you don't unlock until level 50, for instance, 
you can spend this token and unlock it right up front so you have it right at level one. That's what it appears to be, and the reason they use the term base weapon instead of just weapon is just to cover themselves so that you know that you're not getting any one of the cosmetic variants that you want. It's just the base version of that weapon. The use of base weapon also might be referring to the fact that you can't use this to unlock one of those special division weapons that you unlock after working your way through an entire division and leveling it up to the max level. So that appears to be it. I don't understand all the controversy around this image. I think people are once again just completely blowing it out of proportion. Yes, down the road we are very likely to see stat change weapons. That's quite obvious. I would be amazed if that didn't happen. But the variants themselves are cosmetic only and I wouldn't worry too much about this image. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.